this morning and God said to tell you that not even Jesus could go to Calvary without going to Gethsemane first. What do you mean, Pastor? Let me help you. Jesus had to settle the issue of quitting first. Everybody has a Gethsemane moment where you say, God, I, I changed my mind. Everybody has a moment where you say, God, were you really talking to me? He said, Jesus had to go to Calvary to Gethsemane which was the place of crushing it was the place of the oil press it was the place that produced an authentic anointing I need to talk to somebody that's fresh out of Gethsemane 2009 was a year that pressed me on every side it was a year that crushed me on every side but the anointing that's on me now is fresh and it's greater <laughs> Am I talking to anybody in here? He said Jesus, had even Jesus contemplating, turn it around. He said, and it had to get as hard as it has ever gotten for him before he could ascend to his real assignment. God said the miracles were just glimpses or residue of his anointing, but it wasn't what he was really assigned to do. I just said something here. Yeah, the, the, the miracles that Jesus did wasn't really what he was assigned to do. He was assigned to go to Calvary. <laughs> see, see, see. Why you tripping now is because you've seen miracles and now you at Calvary. <laughs> hey, look at somebody and tell them I'm about to go into my real assignment now. Hey, somebody holler, I am anointed. I, I am anointed. Hey, you, what you what you saw? What yeah? Hey, what you saw previous to this year was just a glimpse of my anointing, but it wasn't my real assignment. This is the year that I walk in what God has really called me to do. Yeah, so he said he had to, in order for him to make it to Calvary, he had to go through Gethsemane, and he had to make it to Calvary so he could fulfill his purpose in the earth realm. 